Hey guys, this is Mindy back with another cup of love, cup of wisdom. Let's get in here and do an energy check and see what's going on. Remember, this can be past, present, or future energy. So remember to take what resonates, leave it doesn't, flip the signs and rules as needed. Keep in mind, this is a collective read, not a personal read. If you'd like a personal read, the details are, um, are in my description box for my channel. And you can email me at aceofcup0 at yahoo.com. So I went ahead and pulled a few cards just to get the overall energy of what's going on. And I have, yes, luck is on your side in the reverse. Honeymoon phase attending someone's wedding in the reverse. And Mercury Retrograde in the reverse. Electronic issues, communication issues, review everything. So the overall energy I'm getting is um, somebody could have thought that luck was on their side regarding some sort of um, reconciliation or coming into union with somebody, um, possibly even getting married or engaged. Um, that's not what's going to happen here. Um, this person could be assuming that it's due to communication issues. Like maybe they're thinking that somebody didn't get the message, um, that something was a mistake. That's not the case. This is a no. Okay, this just fell into my lap, the Ace of Swords in the reverse. So this is a hard no for somebody. Um, when it comes to victory, they did not have victory over a person or a situation, over a reconciliation. That's not what's going to happen in this situation, unfortunately, um, for them. But fortunately for a Divine Femur Masculine, because that's not what's meant to be here. We have an Empress in the upright, balance being restored. This Empress could be worried about their financial stability. They're working on healing or they healed. They made a decision to heal, to work on their healing. So if somebody sent this Divine Femme a message, this person, this feminine energy is just not responding. That You know, they acknowledge um, that they received the message like, hey, yeah, I, I read this. I'm not interested. Uh, but this person didn't respond, and that was the correct thing to do. But someone is thinking that, um, you know, maybe they're just having bad luck. Someone didn't get the message. The Divine Femme got the message. They still made the decision to heal, to move forward. Someone's like, oh, there must be electronic issues. There must be this. There must be that. Um, it's just due to a lack of communication. No. No. This is no. Um, with somebody traveling towards another person. Um, this person's not having victory, whoever this karmic person is. They do not have victory with this empress energy, this mother, wife, lover figure, whoever this is, this divine femme energy. Um, someone thought they were going to have some sort of victory with them or over them. That's not what's happening here. The honeymoon phase is over, dear. Whoever this message is for, um, this person, this divine femme, sees who this other person is, what their intentions are. Um, and they're just not interested. So, um, you know, if you're cross-watching and you're a karmic, you know, take with that information, do with it what you will. But this Divine Femme is not interested in more bullshit. Um, that's why they just didn't respond. They're doing what they were being led to do and what they're being called to do. And that was the right move for this person to make. Because they've healed and they do not want to repeat history. They're not interested in going through those same karmic cycles, which is great because I just did a reading um, about someone being tested. They brought themselves under judgment. So whoever this karmic is, they, you know, judgment has been called. Um, they brought themselves under judgment for whatever they've done. <clears throat> they didn't bring the offer you know, that someone had been waiting for this divine femme, this empress energy knows that instead, this person caused a lot of hurt, injury and heartbreak. And so they brought themselves under judgment because this empress is not willing to deal with that all over again. Um, somebody took some sort of swift action and this empress decided to close out a cycle and heal. And that's exactly what they're doing. There was a betrayal. There was a theft. There was a lot of conflict going on. And this empress knows this. Um, they know about this betrayal. That's why judgment had been called. Something was um, enlightened. They were enlightened. Okay. They had this information where they got the download that all the conflict that they were experiencing was due to a betrayal. And so they're not interested in a reconciliation with somebody who is all about drama and conflict. I don't care if you're a man or woman. This person is not interested in opening up those wounds from the past. That's why a cycle has closed out. Because this person created a very emotional situation. There's a union coming into effect Um or this person wants to come into union, they want to reconcile, 
but they created a very emotional situation in the past that this person, this divine femme had to heal from, and they're not interested in going backwards. The cycle has been closed out. There's now going to be a new start or a new beginning. Um, <clears throat> This person created a very emotional situation and they were hoping that they could, you know, offer this person possibly love, a new home, a new job, something like that. Um, this is the Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. This is not going to happen because of what this person has done. Maybe they didn't realize the um, consequences to their actions at the time. Or maybe they did and just didn't give a shit at the time. But you can't go back and keep hurting someone over and over. And, um, you know, once somebody heals from a situation, they're not going back to that. And that's what's going on here in this situation that I'm seeing. Um, there's a karmic here that wanted to hurt a divine femme over and over and over again by betraying them, causing conflict, having all hell breaking loose. And then they expected to come back and um, work things out with this divine femme. And um, this divine femme said, no, they've healed. They made the decision to heal. And that is, that's right here. The decision has been made to heal. You've healed from this heartbreak. Oh, so someone is working really hard. Okay, Jesus. Here we go. So we have somebody taking some sort of swift action to create some more illusions and they're working really hard. How do I create more illusions? How do I do this? Um, they're trying to clean up this betrayal. They're spying. They're watching. And they're working really hard trying to figure out how to get back in this Divine Femme's good graces. Um, what lie can I tell this person so they will believe me kind of thing. Um, and it, it's really sad and unfortunate because if this person was just up front and honest with this Divine Femme from the beginning, things may have been differently, um, have gone differently, but they created an injustice. And so something is being laid to rest. Um, this could have been somebody that you were really close to, um, a friend, relative, family member, lover. There was a meeting. So this person was meeting up with somebody um, or other people to do something. Um, they could have caused a lot of gossip, slander, harassment. They created a very emotional situation. They caused a betrayal. Okay, and they caused a lot of conflict. So for this divine femme to just pack her stuff up, um, you know, or masculine, just flip the rules as needed. But for somebody to forgive someone over what they've done um, from the past, that would be repeating those karmic cycles. Someone is going to be moving. Something is moving. Okay, this could be you traveling, going on a journey, or somebody traveling towards you, divine femme or masculine. Um, there was this imbalance that somebody created, and they have to suffer the consequences. Now they want to rush in with some sort of truth. But like I said, they're trying to figure out what tale to spin to create that illusion. Someone's in their magician energy, shapeshifter energy, um, very manipulative. They already caused you a heartbreak. They wanted to keep you blind. Um, regarding some sort of communication, um, that you're, they're a liar, the king of swords, and you're the hierophant, you're the official person, so you're a true spiritualist, um, you know, you have that, that connection to the divine, so they can't just pull one over on you, but they wanted to keep you at a crossroads and decisive, not knowing which, which direction to take, and so they were really shady with their communication, um, or they're acting as if they weren't communicating with somebody else, but you're the hierophant you saw through their bullshit. And you know that they're cold hearted, um, very vampirish energy, energy drainer, um, you know, whatever this person does, um, it's for self-serving narcissistic tendencies, not for the greater good of, you know, the divine femme or even for themselves. They make decisions um, based on a lot of shady um, reasons, but it, it's never for, you know, the caring, compassionate. This person could have tried to reach out and contact a divine femme acting as if they were being caring, compassionate, something traumatic could have happened. Um, this person could have reached out like, oh, by the way, I'm sorry um, that this happened to you, blase, blase. Um, but it was based on lies. This person was being deceptive. They were still being cold hearted. And this Hierophant saw that. So this Divine Femme energy did not respond um, to this person's manipulative tactics because this Hierophant saw through them. 
and someone's getting a message of concern that they made a bad decision. You know, when they were faced with the decision at the Wheel of Fortune to go up higher on the wheel or fall, they made a very bad decision. This is in the reverse. They're getting the message that they done fucked up. Okay, <laughs> I mean, there's just no other way of putting it. Someone's realizing they fucked it up. The Knight of Wands. There's information or communication um, that could be um, in motion. Someone could be exposing something. There could be a Divine Femme here that's exposing um, some sort of information. Or there's some sort of communication. Um... This person may be very carefree. Um, a weight has been lifted off of their shoulders. Then They're not worried about dealing with the shit from the past regarding this player energy, this King of Wands energy. Not only were they very cold-hearted, uh, but they were very restless and careless with somebody's heart. They didn't protect this Divine Femme. Um, they were not compassionate or empathetic towards this Divine Femme. Uh, Page of Wands, quite the opposite. Um, their message was a message of bullshit, okay? This person was just trying to open the door. They sent a message hoping that it would open the door um, back to this divine femme that, so that they could have another way to manipulate them in some sort of way, um, spin this narrative, and it didn't work. So somebody thought by sending some sort of message or communication that it was going to reopen the door for this person and this person could have done like a cord cutting or something like that this person this femme could have already cut this person out of their energy and this person's trying to find their way back in once again the two of swords so they sent a message that was meant to confuse someone keep them from seeing the truth um you know i'm not this horrible person if i'm sending a message to check up on you kind of thing but your gifts and talents called bullshit okay the eight of pentacles um you, you have some very, uh, you're tapped in, okay? Yeah, I'm just going to say that. You're tapped in, okay? So you may be very carefree, lighthearted. You're not worried about a whole, a whole lot. Even if the world's crashing down on you, you know you have some sort of protection, some sort of safety net. Um, and this person's trying to energy harvest off of you by sending you some sort of message or communication that is meant to stir up those emotions. Uh <sighs> Okay, reading cards and stuff deals with energy, so I do understand energy. Um, people who are on the bad side of this shit understand it too, and they know how to siphon energy, and they know that they can drain you by doing this, that, and the other, especially if you're already going through a horrible time or experiencing some bad things, negativity. That's when these kind of people come out of the woodwork and start with their bullshit again. Um, this person could have hurt you in some sort of way which is why they're in the reverse. Luck is not on their side. They made some really bad decisions. Um, but they know that when you're going through a really emotional time, that would be the time to strike. And that is when this person is going to show back up. Um, this person could have expected to get some sort of money or pinnacles with the nine of pinnacles. Somebody planted some seeds and they thought by keeping you confused or at a crossroads, maybe they could come back in, possibly even steal some more. So this person could have already stolen money from you, finances from you. Um, like I said, this could be a friend, family member, ex lover, whoever this is, they've done some really shady shit to you. And when you're already going through a very emotional or hard time is when this person is going to show back up in your energy, because that is when they gain the most, um, <sighs> energetic profits from you. Even if it's not just money, this person thrives on your energy. Okay. So, um, they, they want to keep you drained and they're siphoning. They're trying to siphon your energy from you. That's the best way I can describe it. Someone's watching. They're waiting for you to communicate back to them with the three of wands. They're watching. They sent a message. Um, they're trying to convince themselves you didn't see the message. You didn't get the message. They're expecting. They're watching. They're waiting for a message from you. Because they're not moving on to calmer waters. So they expected to get some sort of um, benefit from whatever they did to you in the past. And they made a, a bad decision, which placed them on the wrong side of the wheel of fortune. So they're not moving on to calmer waters. So now this person needs to come back and try. It's like they realized that when they were with you or connected to you and your energy, things worked out for you. 
There's the King of Pentacles here who's all up in their emotions, all up in their feelings uh, because you're not communicating back to them. They were waiting and expecting some sort of response from you and that didn't happen. And um, you didn't respond back to this person, the Page of Wands. They sent you a message and um, you didn't respond to them and that had them in despair. So the worst thing you can do to a narcissistic energy is just outright ignore them and let them know that they don't have any control over you. Um, you know, they're in despair because they chose a jealous queen of cups ass energy over a divine femme and things didn't work out for them the way they thought it was going to. They could have made a decision based on emotions. They could have been a masculine in their little bitch energy, you know, take it how it resonates. Um, and it can also be, um, a queen of cups energy for those masculines who are watching the empress and the reverse. Um, you know, they travel towards someone else to make them an offer. Okay. So they traveled towards, um, somebody traveled towards an empress in the reverse to make them an offer and it didn't work out the way they thought it was going to. And now they want to come back to this divine femme energy and it's just not working out the way they thought it was going to. So let's see what's going on here. Let's see if we can't get some more information. Yeah, someone thinks something's funny. Like this person, they didn't change. They didn't go through a transformation or ascension. Someone thinks that this is a game. It's like someone's treating your life as it's a fucking game. And that is just so wrong on so many levels. They didn't protect you. They wanted you to feel trapped as if you were being watched or guarded in some sort of way. And this masculine was confused why you don't feel trapped, why don't why you don't feel stuck, why you're why you're not scared. This person's trying to trigger some emotions. Um, and you could just be standing there watching this person like, really? Are you fucking crazy? Like you're unimpressed. This could be even regarding a housing situation. This person could be trying to get you to move back in with them if you lived with them um, at some point. Um, this person could be dangling like a property or a house in front of you um, or even like a love commitment, marriage commitment, something like that. That's been coming out um, where someone is going to show back up and just offer someone something thinking that that's their um, way back in. Like that's that's their ace in the hole that they're holding on to. And this, this energy, this divine femme is just not impressed. They're just, they just don't give a shit. Like you're not going to bribe this person into going against their intuition or their morals. Somebody knows better, you know better. So you're not going to fall for their little trick. You know, someone's trying to scare you or intimidate you in some sort of way. Um, and someone may be even accusing you of being a monster um, or heartless because of your lack of response or emotions, but you disassociated from this person. You've cut this person off emotionally, which is what you needed to do. That's part of that cord cutting. This person is trying to stay attached to you emotionally. My little cup of, a cup of wisdom. If you don't know how energy works, let me give you a little um, information here. If somebody can trigger your emotions or get you caught up in your emotions, um, that is a form of energy. Energy is currency. So if somebody can use your emotions against you, whether it's positive or negative, um, that's a currency and they can stay attached to you by triggering your emotions. So that is a way to reattach that cord. So if someone is sending a message to you to try to trigger some emotions, they are trying to reattach that cord that has already been cut. So even if you have done a cord cutting ritual, that does not mean that this person is not going to come back and try to reattach themselves to you. They know they can feel it just like you can feel when, um, you know, that if that cord cutting has been successful or not, they can feel that too. And they're trying to reattach themselves to you. And they can do that if you allow them, if you're not careful, if they can trigger some sort of emotion or elicit some sort of response from you, they've reattached that cord. So the moment you respond to this person, you have reattached that cord and you have to go back and cut that cord again.
yeah, I mean, they're just trying to hurt you. They're they're trying to mirror your energy. They're trying to use um, your tactics. Like, they're, this person's a monster. They're trying to make you seem like you're the monster, but they're the ones that are trying to, um, like, be you, imitate you, and they're trying to mirror you, and they're trying to hurt you in doing this. Um, they're trying to reattach themselves to you energetically is basically what it comes down to. This person was shady as fuck. They didn't change. Um, they're still shady as fuck. They're trying to mirror your energy, copy your energy, so that they can reattach themselves to you. Um, so if you're experiencing good luck, this person wants to experience good luck. But, you know, sometimes you'll have to do some research on some stuff. Someone wants to come back and acting like they're trying to help, but they're wearing a disguise. They're wearing a mask. They're acting as if they want to help you. They're just looking for a way back in. The moment you respond or communicate to this person, they've reattached that cord and you're going to have to keep doing those cord cuttings again. Any energy that or attention, any emotions that you give to this person, you've just reattached the cord, you know, uh, and uh, there's no arguing about it. This person's mask fell off, you know, the nice little suit, the um, persona that they were wearing, it fell off. You saw this person for who they are, what they are. Um, so if you respond to them in any sort of way, you're reattaching yourself to this person once again. And they are trying to siphon your energy. It's like they don't want to heal. They don't want to do the work. That's fine. That's good. But they need to do that away from this divine femme. But I'm telling you, if you respond or communicate to this person in some way, shape, or form, and they're like, well, maybe I didn't do this right. Maybe they just didn't get the message. No. No, you did. And if you didn't, it was for your own benefit. Okay, let me tell you that. Someone is going to be shocked. There's something surprising. This person could be shocked or surprised. They were watching you. They were they were watching you and they didn't help you. Okay, they were watching you. Um, you know, an innocent person. They could have tried to set you up for something. You were innocent in a situation and someone was watching you struggle. And they watched you go through tower moments. And they were trying to keep you trapped in this cycle intentionally. They didn't want you to have a way out. They didn't want you to know which way to go. They wanted to keep you confused. And in these tower moment situations so that you would have to solely rely on them and their bullshit um, so that they can siphon off of you and keep doing whatever they want to do. And they were watching this all this go down. Every time that you've gone through something, um, this person has been behind the scenes watching and you can feel it energetically. You don't have to physically see this person. You can feel their energy. However, this person made you feel when you were with them, whether it's nausea, headaches, whatever, um, wh however your body reacted, you could have even started shaking, um, tapping stuff, whatever. However, your body reacted to this person when you were with them, when you start feeling that energetically, this person is still in your energy and it may come out of nowhere. Um, you may start feeling some sort of emotion, like if you start crying out of nowhere and you're like, oh, they feel sad, they miss me. No, motherfucker, they don't, okay? Um, and I mean that with the most love and respect when I call you a motherfucker. No, they do not, okay? They are projecting those emotions to you. They are trying to elicit you. This person's not stupid. They're not ignorant. If you know how energy works, if, if you know how to protect yourself from this energy, this person knows how to do the exact same thing from a darker standpoint, okay? So, with the most utmost love and respect, no, they don't, okay? A cord cutting is needed, okay? You're going to need to do this against a dark witch or a warlock. This person, if, if you're a light worker... This person is like, they're trying to mirror you, but this is like, you know, that good devil, you know, the angel and devil on your shoulders. If you're the light worker, this person is the complete opposite of you, but they're trying to mirror off of you, off of your energy so that they can get the benefits without the work. This person was not your true love. They just wanted you to think that they use emotions and love to manipulate you. I don't even know if this person has ever experienced real love or if they know what love is. They say narcissists can love their children because they're an extension of them. So just because somebody is a good parent, whether it's a mother or a father, it does not mean they're not a narcissist. People, um, you know, are different. But um, 
something happened in the last two to four weeks. So this person could have tried to reach out in the last two to four weeks. Um, they also slept with somebody that you don't know. So um, within the last two to four weeks, this person slept with somebody you don't even know. Children could be involved. So you could have children with this person. Or you could be the child. This can be a parent. This could be a relative. This could be anybody. Somebody lost their spiritual gifts and they feel like reconnecting back to the light worker is going to bring those gifts back. And that's not how it's going to work. Um, obviously, they don't realize the, the spiritual aspect of this. You need to speak the truth. So there's some sort of truth that needs to be spoken out regarding this person. They're not going to tell you the truth. Um, fortune favors the brave. So, you know, make the decision. Whatever decision you make, it's going to affect you for a long time. But you need to make sure you stay on the right side of the wheel of fortune here. They could be claiming that you owe them money. They owe you money in the reverse, or they actually owe you money, and they're being two-faced. So they're a thief. They could have stolen the Nine of Pentacles. They could have taken a significant amount of money or something from you, stolen property, something of monetary value or worth monetary value, and they were being two-faced to do this. They didn't think you had a clue about what's going on, hasn't got a clue in the reverse. So they thought you were oblivious to what they were doing, um, that they could just have you crying in your emotions. They also know or feel like if you start crying or feeling emotions, like if you're an empath, um, when it comes to those aspects of the spiritual gifts, if they can trigger you emotionally, they feel like that they can use that to reattach. However, um, there, there's ways around that. You need to up your spiritual protection, protect yourself. But just because you're feeling the person's emotion, and maybe you're so gifted that you know where the emotion's coming from. Um, and if you quiet yourself down and think about it, you know, but don't dwell on it. Don't give them a reaction. They're wanting to trigger you, make you feel like they're being sincere. I, J, K, and L could be significant. That just flipped out on my lap. But it's when you respond, they're, they're doing this, you know, just because somebody can trigger you doesn't mean that they have reattached themselves to you. Um, it's when you respond and give them any energy whatsoever. That is when you have reattached that cord. Um, you have an ace in the hole or ace up your sleeve and this person can't stand that they're fit to be tied because you are the stuff dreams are made out of and they're going to have a bleeding heart because you healed from whatever heartbreak this person caused you. They didn't expect that. They didn't see this coming. Um, you could have even told this person you're a healer or you know how to heal yourself. They didn't believe you. They thought you were just bullshitting them. Okay. But, um, you know, when they came to bury the hatchet, they have to bite the bullet for what they've done to you because you're not going to just forget what they've done to you because, you know, their suit has already fallen off. You've already seen them. They've already been exposed um, for who they are, what they are. So it's not like they can just come back in. Um, you know, luck is on your side. Luck of the Irish in the upright here. Pisces could be significant. There's a third party involved in a situation and something's going to be happening as quick as lightning. So there could be a third party that's aware of a situation or they may be using a third party to reach out to you. So if this is not somebody, even if it was somebody you were in a relationship with, it doesn't matter. Someone is going to use a third party to quickly reach out to you to make sure you got a message. So it's like, okay, they're convincing themselves that you didn't get the message just because you didn't respond. They can't accept that answer. They refuse to accept that you're just not dealing with them anymore. Um, they wanted you to be back to square one where you believe that um, they're bullshit. Okay, this person's all talk and no action. So they want you back to square one back when you believed they're bullshit and they didn't have to do anything to back it up. Um, they want you to just forget that you know... You... <laughs> When people talk, but their actions do not back them up, 
Um, you can't unsee the truth, okay? That's like people who walk away from religion or, you know, a certain practice that they grew up their whole lives and they chose a different path. Um, you can't unsee what you've already seen. You can't unsee the corruption, the shady stuff. Um, you can't unsee people's true colors when their masks fall off. And this person wanted to put you back to square one like, oh, we're just going to forget all that shit I did to you. And we're just going to forget that um, when I tell you I'm going to do these things, I'm never going to do them. But I don't want you to remember that. I just want you to assume that um, I'm I'm eventually going to do it, but I'm not going to. Um, yeah, this person's going to be pissed off. OK, the, they're going to be pissed off. So what? So what? That's just the what, you know? That's their problem. They're not innocent. This person is not divine. They're evil. They're just lusting after you. Okay. They they want a booty call. Um, they treated you like a booty call. They could have even said you were a booty call. They could have even lied about being in a full-blown relationship. Your instincts are on point. Listen to your instincts. You know what you're feeling. It's it's the real truth. Okay. You don't have to have solid physical evidence of something that you know is true. You can choose to walk away. But the moment you engage with this person or anybody emotionally, you reattach those cords. Please understand that. Be could be significant person, place, or thing. <clears throat> N. Ben could be significant. The name Ben. Or a has been. Someone is a has been. Um, you, bun, honey. I'm hearing honey buns. Uh, buns could be significant, um, hot dog buns, hamburger buns, I don't know, like cookouts could be significant, um, G, I'm hearing a bunker, There, a bunker could be significant as well, R, U, I, Why? I'm hearing Ruiz. Ru I know it's not spelled here, but R U I Z or something like that. That could be significant. Um, a ring, a doorbell ring. Maybe it doesn't work, or maybe there's like a doorbell that's connected to some bunker or something. A. Okay, last one. And whoops, I had V in my hand. Mm, B came out again. I did have V in my hand. I'll do one more. I. So we're repeating letters, so I guess that's it. So I have two Bs, two I's. So someone is definitely being watched. Um, a pew pew could be significant. Um, so I have, oh, and I have two U's. Someone could have tried to get um, another, like a copycat version of you as well. I have RNG. A ring could be significant, whether it's an engagement ring, a family ring, or some sort of ring, um, like a piece of jewelry. I have RNGYABBUUII. -I, -I. I hope this helps. Have a good day.